But you had 25% body fat with a carved out six piece stock. Oh my God. Why is he getting so ruthless? 25% bro. You are fat. That's dude. This is the only, this is the type of this only a fat man can say okay rick ross is like 90 percent body fat first of all which makes it really funny that's real fat on fat violence right there uh all right let's get started on uh let's get started on the drake this drake push-ups drop and give me 50 why is this four minutes and 11 seconds long this is from yesterday and then the final version is that you shorter version one version two I mean, come on, like it, it, it look as, as much as I want to, as much as I want to on Drake and I do love on Drake. This is a, this is right out of the gate, right out of the gate, right out of the gate. He's swinging on him saying, I can never beat nobody's number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. That's future. Like the beat is ass. Well, yeah, he is going up against future and Metro Boomin. He should have probably had a better beat. He actually snapped and I'm a Drake hater. I am a Drake hater as well. And he did. Yes. Snap a little bit. Dude, Drake has been getting a bunch of W's through, uh, leaks. And I don't like that. Like he, he leaked his meat. His dick meat got leaked and everyone was like, wow, dude, nice dick. What his disc got leaked and everyone was saying that he snapped on it. It's kind of up he for sure had a ghostwriter though agreed now people are saying that now people are saying that kendrick also has ghostwriters by the way i saw that too he rhymes peanut butter jelly sandwich with actually good vegan version of manwich but the rest of the diss was fire <laughs> okay let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going you pussies can't get booked outside america for now i'm out in tokyo because i'm big in japan i thought that was whack i'm out in tokyo because i'm big in japan i'm the hit maker uh y'all depend on backstage in my city it was friend zone this is against kendrick Drake claims people are against him, only known in America while he is global with his name reaching to Japan. At the time of the song, Drake has 77 top 10 songs, 16 top 10 albums, 13 number one. Drake says that, bro, this thing is eating his meat, by the way. The rap genius annotators are just eating his meat. I think they saw the dick leak uh, uh, video and they're just like, they're riding it a little too hard. Okay, this is not an annotation. This is masturbation. At a certain point, you just got to like dial it back a little bit. So like DJ Academics wrote this. It's, it, it unironically feels like DJ Academics wrote these annotations. He's like, Drake is the number one goat. And this bar actually shows that he's the number one goat. This is my, not my assessment. Like, this is just what the, the song is about. And it's like, no, that's your, your, that's crazy. Drake says people rely on him without him. Uh, many other artists would not be getting the same level of attention or streams they're getting now. However, Drake states that behind closed doors, some people who throw shots at him are friendly to him despite the beef they portray in public. Yeah, he's talking about Kendrick here, I think. Backstage in my city was friend zone. Um, directly uh, talking to Kendrick Lamar. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the f you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Yo, chill, chill. Hey, 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 that's f***ed up. I just want to reiterate my position, tall aside, okay? The tall cost. It is near. It is, the time is now. I, I'm sick and tired of these calls, okay? Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Short kings rise up. Short kings rise the up. This guy, okay? Mr. Salty and the small steppers. Yo, chill. No, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I'm, <laughs> dude, I'm with the short kings on this one him him with this bullshit class trader drake is barely six foot i'm five two i used to wear a 9.5 who even wears a seven and that's a line where he's talking about how the f you big stepping with a size seven men's on which is really messed up mr morale big steppers title of lamar's 2022 release that he slanders later on drake jokes that lamar can't be a big stepper with such a presumably small shoe because he's five foot five boys boys listen to me listen to me as a size 13 six foot four I'm deeply ashamed of the height advantage that I've gotten. I am a class trader. I am with the shorties on this one. I will pick you up. I will give you uppies. I will f pick your ass up if you want to grab something from the top shelf to make it feel like you did it yourself. Okay? You're just virtue signaling? No. The talls have had it far too good for far too long. I got you. Okay? I'm on the side. I'm on your side. This bull. Similar to how J. Cole attacked Kendrick on seven minute drill. By the way, this is so much better than the J. Cole uh, version so far. It's pretty crazy. Extortion, baby, hope for red. You've been shook up. This top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push up. 
extortion baby whole career you've been shook up because top told you drop and give me 50 likes and push-ups at least 50 percent of profits from kendrick's music goes to anthony top tiffitz the ceo of his former label top dog entertainment and therefore he's been legally extorted throughout his music career that's kind of messed up to be fair that's like a that's like kind of a messed up thing to make fun of also kendrick does do push-ups a lot on his instagram as you guys know in in uh numerous parks all around los angeles he is a man of the people if you haven't seen if you haven't seen him uh if you haven't watched his instagram closely he yeah this there it is uh he's he's chill he's chill like that that's probably why he's like talking about he's saying that top anthony top tiffitz is like the reason why he's uh give doing 50 push-ups it's a diss track bro it's supposed to be disrespectful i know i know <laughs> that'd be really funny if i was like well well that's a little too disrespectful for me like no i i think it's good it's a good line he's just uh you know, he's just coming for him. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. Drake says the other artists do not have the same freedom and privileges, making them curious to see their contracts to see how much their splits are. Okay, bro. This part of the conversation is so like inside baseball. It's like, imagine if I was, imagine if I was like in a, a dissing another Twitch streamer and I just started talking about like your ad break. Your, your ad break density at the top of the hour is like way worse than mine. You know what I mean? Like I give you the top of the hour ad break three minutes at a time. You actually do 10 minutes uh, and it's up. Like it's just too inside baseball. He's like, oh yeah, let's see your contract splits. You know what I mean? Hey, by the way, uh, that is probably one of the best top of the hour ad break to base I've ever done because I didn't know I was going to serve it to you. I'm not even kidding. I didn't realize that it was literally at the top of the hour I, I debated myself. I looked down while I was talking about it and I was like, oh my God, it is literally the top of the hour. Um, that's crazy. That'll, that's a once in a lifetime, baby. Anyway, uh, this bark with the bite. What's up? Uh, I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. This is likely a shot of Metro Boomin. I'm future who have been accused of assembling a plethora of artists to take shots on Drake in the recent collaboration albums. Yeah. So the idea was that the, we don't trust you album is all directly a response to Drake. That was the speculation from fans. Uh, I don't know how truthful it is, but even like the naming convention of a lot of the songs and stuff, they were, they were saying like a big chunk of the album was like directly taking shots at Drake. Um, extortion baby whole career been shook up. Cause top told you drop, give me 50. We saw that your last one break. You really not on. Uh, he says, Mr. Brown, but the big steppers did not do well in the long run at the time of the song's release. Kendrick's latest album was met with mixed feedback from people as they felt the album was not as good as his previous work. Before apologizing to Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole attacked Mr. Morale and the big steppers on seven minute drill. It was Kendrick Lamar's shortest charting album only on the charts for 70 weeks. It's pretty funny that like, that's his worst performing. Um, anyway, he then moves on to shit on his contracts and his splits, which I think is a little bit too inside baseball, but what are you gonna do? Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give him 50. Then he does a call back to the top say drop, you better drop and give him 50. Drake clowns Kendrick Lamar for catering to the mainstream by making a reference to his features on Bad Blood and Don't Wanna Know by mainstream pop acts. Okay, can I just say something? That right there is the literal equivalent of j cole telling kendrick lamar your music is boring what he just did is literally the same exact principle behind j cole being like i'm sorry your music is boring how could you drake make fun of a man for making pop hits you literally do not even do rap music that part is not slandering Kendrick Lamar, but instead just kind of making fun of himself, okay? Drake is a pop star. It is pretty funny that he's like using this as a diss. That part, I think, opens him up to a lot of retorts because it is very funny. Like Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty, then we need a verse for the Swifties. It almost feels like he's just jealous. Like, it feels like he's literally jealous that he didn't get those features. <laughs> This beef is definitely for the unks. Oh my God, how old are we? How f old are we that like, how is a Drake Kendrick Lamar, uh, this, is that really? Is that for the unks actually? No, stop, stop. Don't say that, don't say that. I mean, they're all 40 years old. God damn it, maybe you're right. No, I think, I think Gen Z listens to this.
to i think gen alpha is the only people that are like oh this is not this is for the unks you have to be like literally a 15 year old to be like no i don't i don't care about any of these guys like what the f does gen alpha listen to like blady i feel like that's zoomer shit that's not even gen alpha shit. yeah gen alpha is like <laughs> gen alpha is like yeah i i listen to classic rap like playboy cardi <laughs> Gen Alpha, Gen Alpha in the chat being like, yeah, I really love the classic hits um, by, by, uh, you know, <laughs> by Drake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Skippy the toilet listening asses, dude. Get out of here. You're like 33. That's not a diss, bro. I am 33. Anyway, I found that strange. Kaya, place. I did find that personally strange that Drake is talking shit about uh, Kendrick doing poppy hits, poppy features. Oh, no. He called him Pipsqueak. Pipsqueak, pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. That's up. Calling him a Pipsqueak is a little too far. On Drake 2023, J. Cole assisted collaborative track. First person shooter. J. Cole asked who the goat in the music industry is between... Him, Drake, and Kendrick. Is it K-Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? We like the big three like we started a league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. Kendrick Lamar, however, in his feature, clap back at them. Uh, mocking for all the dogs being the worst Drake album ever. The album First Person Shooter was on. Drake states that fellow artist SZA, Travis Scott, and 21 Savage have all wiped out Kendrick, slammed for destroying or passing something, likely alluding to billboard placements. Throughout the 2020s, Kendrick's biggest album, Mr. Marilyn and the Big Steppers, has been surpassed. Uh, album equivalent units by Sizzle's SOS, Travis Scott's Utopia, and Drake's and 21 Savage's collaborative, Her Loss. Jesus, bro, he just sells so much. It's kind of crazy. Drake may have also been referring to the fact that the artists mentioned above have all made the number, uh, number one hit with them, including 2023's Slime You Out, Sicko Mode, and Jimmy Cook's. It is also worth noting that Dragon 21 was also a number two hit titled Rich Flex. Uh, additionally, SZA responded to her name being name dropped in the song with the iconic uh, Nene Leaks meme. Now, why am I in it? Back to the label situation. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, tall aside now. Okay. Stop with this. Bro, we get it, bro. Kendrick is. Five foot five. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. All Kendrick Lamar has to say is, why are you talking shit about my height? You're six foot four and you, or you're six foot and you're trying to teenagers all the time. They're pretty short too. What? There is just, he's just going to keep calling him a file over and over again. I think it's just going to be an entire song dedicated to Drake being called a pedophile and being in gambling debt. And whoring himself out for crypto online gambling casinos, which would be pretty funny if he actually uh, mentioned that part. Like I said, I don't think he's going to do that. Kendrick is short, but he slapped Drake down, to be honest. Canadian ass. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, he just needs to make Stranger Things references and it'll be the best ever. I don't like that he's coming after the Short Kings. Um, he, he's coming after the Short Kings in very aggressive ways. I think that, hey... Kendrick might not hear what you had to say, but your five foot five friends might hear what you have to say. You know what I mean? If you play this song in their vicinity, like they're going to be upset. There's too many bars in here that are questionable for anyone over, uh, for anyone under the height of five foot seven. Okay. I'm at the top of the mountain. You tight now. Just had to talk with your ass. I had to hike down again. Another lame ass take about how short Kendrick Lamar is. I don't appreciate this. What's a prince to a king? He a son. Get more love in a city that you find. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums. <laughs> okay, that one is really good. Okay, that probably, in my opinion, is one of the best lines in the entire song. That's actually really good. Especially because, like, what's Metro gonna do? Like, how is he gonna make a... How, what, what, what is his retort? He's just gonna put... <laughs> he's just gonna make some more fire beats i guess <laughs> angry drum instrumental it's just like uh what's that one guy that artiste i've seen that guy who who just like angrily slams on the drums and all these people like watch it from afar and they're like wow that's what he's gonna do what's the you know what i'm talking about you have any idea what i'm talking about the the um uh, the artist the japanese dude no not fred again no the japanese dude bro he's like a He's like a noise artist or whatever the fuck is called. 
Metro dissed him in Morse code. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it Mersbo? Let me see. I'm gonna show you. Oh, this is the guy. Yeah. This is. This was a long and extended bit, but honestly, it's worth it. This is how Metro Boomin is gonna respond to Dre. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's going crazy. He's going crazy. Bro, do you hear? Do you hear that? Yo, chill out, Metro Boomin. Don't do it. He's mad, bro. He is big mad. This is an unironic thing that people watch, by the way. I don't really understand it at all. This is why we don't trust you part three. It's just him. It's just him. This is Metro Boomin. <laughs> Go back mentally to 2015 and tell and tell you do not feel the same drake goes after metro boom and after tension between the two have been rising for months at the time of this song drake's last produced record from uh by metro boomin was more ams with 21 savage which released over one and a half years prior on the track drake reportedly dissed metro boom in his verse on the track with the multiple subliminals they got love for the boy so they fake it crap a crack a couple jokes on some snake 30 minutes to listen to a four minute song. Yeah, well, this is important, dude. What do you mean? This is lyrical, miracle, mystical, spiritual shit. Okay, calm down. We're having fun with it. Um, Drake references his and Kendrick Lamar's prior comparisons to megastars Michael Jackson and Prince. He likened himself to Prince on Mask Off. Kendrick did. <laughs> Drake then acknowledges Kendrick Lamar's bar from Future and Metro's track like that just from three weeks prior where Kendrick raps. Your best work is a light pack. Prince outlived Mike Jack. Bum. Uh, Kendrick is saying that Prince, who passed away in 2016, outlived Michael Jackson, who passed away in 20 2009, implying that Drake will not live as long as him. Drake claps back at this comment by referring to himself as a king, as Michael Jackson's nickname was the King of Pop, and Kendrick Lamar as a prince. Given Lamar's prior comparisons to Prince, Drake points out that a king, being the father of a prince, has more power than a son, essentially calling Kendrick his... I think the worst part about this, uh, overall, I think the worst part about this overall is that, like... The beat, if the beat was better, I don't know. I just, I feel like the, the, it's lyrically, this is really good. This is like the opposite of what J. Cole was doing. He's got some, he's got some smoke. He's opening up on everyone, including Ricardo Ross, Richard Ross, uh, and, and many others. I think is is pretty good. I just wish that, you know, the beat is good, bro. I think the beat is all right. <laughs> yeah. He should have got Metro to do it. <laughs> Plain of six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash Wait, this is a shot of the weekend's manager, Cash XO, saying that Cash was a blunt runner for the head of Drake security chubs. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Why is why are dudes from Toronto beefing with one another? That I don't understand. You guys are from Toronto. Like you're from Canada. What do you mean? Like you're are you even allowed to shit on each other? No, I actually don't get it. Like, I, I, I don't know why he's like shitting on the weekend. Like, bro, if you're Canadian, if you're Canadian, you shouldn't be allowed to diss other Canadians. There's like eight of you guys out there. Come on. These OVO producers, the most boring mother planet for real. Sick to my stomach, fam. These waste youths. These waste youths. I'm sick to my stomach, fam. <laughs> waste youths. <laughs> Toronto is a mad ting. Yeah. He's still upset the weekend didn't join OVO fam. <laughs> Mans are marved. I will not take this Toronto slander, but you deserve it. Toronto deserves all the smoke. Bro, once they, once people in Toronto figured out TikTok, it was Jover. Okay. The rest of the world found out how freakish mother Toronto are. Okay. It fucked the game up entirely any bro when people found out what people in toronto sound like it was over why are you so mean to canada i pay so much extra shipping for your merch i'm just jealous here i mean here you want to like this guy blocked me that's on toronto hoodmans yo these guys are waste youths fam and i hate when you try to act hood fam it's not hood brusky when you try to act hood fam you're not hood fam real spill you know like stop moving bod when you're a good youth fam you guys are good youths eh you guys are good youths eh <laughs> <laughs> bro imagine getting bopped by a dude that sounds like that though that's like it's it's so jover like this dude this dude sounds like a like a minnesota midwife 
Okay. Ah, don't you know, fam? It's like, really? Bop with what? A blunderbuss. <laughs> a homemade. A homemade weapon. <laughs> Where's yours, fam? <laughs> it's like they... It's like they got a Minnesota midwife, okay, to f be around, like, Caribbean dudes living in England for a while. And this is what happened. How? How, how could this accent come together? Like, it makes no sense. It's, it's, it's a crime, honestly. It is straight up a f crime. T dot fam. We're out here bopping the waist, youths. It's a mad thing. Eh? <laughs> eh, don't you know? <laughs> Living 15 minutes out of Toronto, my favorite thing ever is the suburban white boys who throw on that accent. They always have the broccoli cut, too. Yes. Sick to your stomach, fam. Can you say this? Yeah. Eh? What we do for Bro, look at this. Oh my god, he's got so much more. Drake goes after Cash XO's the weekend's manager, stating he's giving out high amounts of the weekend's money to men in the form of tricking, which describes when rich people fly women out and buy them extravagant gifts in exchange for sex. Drake also after the weekend, referring to the amount of features on the weekend gave feature of Metro Boomers, We Don't Trust You, and We Still Don't Trust You across two albums. The weekend is still featured on Young Metro. And Drake states with the amount of features the weekend has given to Future and Metro Boomin, he's generating a high amount of money for Cash XO. Metro and Fu uh, Future and Metro Boomin as the tracks will likely gain high attraction due to his feature. Been it like Drizzy Chippendale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the Chippendale. Trip, uh, triple Entendre, he's referring to the famous cartoon Chippendale, which are two main characters, Chipmunks, who worked as rescue rangers. Aubrey's implying that he has rescued, saved so many girls by buying them a Chanel item, be a bag or something else, that he probably also saved Future's girl. That's awesome. I'm gonna let you work it out because I've seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. I just don't understand why he talks so much about how much money he has. Like, I don't know why he's just like, he referenced Kai. Wait, he did? Where is it? Um, I heard about this as well. Spend that little check you got. Stay up on my business. Imagine being 40 and doing this. Oh my God. Begging Kai Sinat, boy, you not beating us. That's crazy. Okay. That is actually crazy. You're a 40 year old man referencing like a 20 year old Twitch streamer. Oh, he just hates short people. Honestly, 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 I'm telling you right now, I think Drake is racist. He's racist towards short people. It's very obvious throughout this entire song. He keeps talking about how much money he has, which I think is very odd because like, I feel like he makes albums like he's broke. I suspect that he has a shit ton of gambling debt the way he's making albums. Like he, he makes music like a dude who's gonna have his kneecaps broken if he doesn't pay his gambling debts, okay? Overall, overall, I feel like very odd that he keeps talking about how much money, uh, how other people's deals are, okay? And then he's just, you know, he's, he's, he uses the M word for short people. Uh, that's not his word to say, okay? You can't say that. Like, honestly, you just, you can't. You're not. He needs to shut his tall ass up. That's what I'm saying. He's saying that these rappers labels are begging to be on Kai's streams. Drop and give me 50 on your teaming up. What type of you smoking on Kendrick? Oh my God. Okay, no, I take it back. Bro, putting, putting DJ Academics in the interlude is the wackest thing you could do. No, that's like, that's literally like putting Aiden Ross talking about your dick meat in the intro of a diss track. You know what I mean? It's just an automatic L. That's an automatic L. That's an auto L. It's just, that's so corny. It's the corniest shit you could do. Um. For the thought, uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG. And then this is the demo. It didn't end with the interlude by DJ Academics in the outro above. Instead, it ended with the following lyrics. Drake claims there will be no further. So Rick Ross, Ricky Ross, are you going to get DMCA for this? Probably not. I don't know. I might take it later. But Ricky Ross came back. Um, I forgot that here. This was the part that I I uh, I left. But yeah, Drake references the preview Metro Boomin and Future song and Rolling Loud of the track like that. The version previewed was an earlier version of the track, not featuring Kendrick. The on original demo of the song, there's a slight change in the lines. Rolling uh, Loud stage, y'all were turned. That was slick as hell. Lucky that your dog, little BM, doesn't kiss and tell. Um, she'll probably change if BM starts to kiss and tell. If your BM starts to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man. Don't tell me about no switches. Hugs and kisses refers to the weekend's label, XO. Drake is saying that uh, Abel is too soft to be talking about violence and guns. Bro, so are you. 
You're from Toronto. What? Dude, yo, this is like if Lil Uzi Vert made a diss track and was calling people gay. You know what I mean? You'd be like, wow, y'all are so gay. You paint your nails and stuff. It's like, bro, you were on Degrassi. I don't understand. What are you saying? Half of this literally just like applicable to him. Everything he could say about the weekend, he, he could it could be said about him. Okay, this is why I was saying. I feel like if you're from if you're from Toronto, if you're a Canadian rapper, you should not have the smoke for other Canadian rappers because like your background is literally identical. Waste you, it's a eh? the weekend is on top. He gave like gorillions of dollars to uh Gaza. What is this analysis? What do you mean? What is this analysis? This is the best goddamn analysis you're gonna get in the rap game, dude. The irony is that the weekend used to be on benders in the hood of Toronto. Drake definitely never had to do that. Yeah, Drake was a victim of gun violence in Degrassi. Are you aware of Drake's song for all the dogs where he unintentionally says my ass for like two minutes straight? No, I'm not. Uh, unaware of this i am very much aware of this anyway yeah drake it, it talks about how he like stole his uncle's car for the weekend and shit like he was never like he was not you know he, he was never like uh someone who struggled and, and experienced financial hardships or anything like that it's ridiculous insinuating that kendrick doesn't have any more disses in him a provocation that aims to elicit a response while using kendrick's bar about switches drake could also be making a double entendre about abel switching up on drake having once been a close collaborator of his and even almost an OVO signee. This corroborates Drake's mindset about the diss as April 11, 2024, two days before leaking of this song, Drake replied to DJ Academics asking him if he had a diss ready. I'm ready and waiting. I'm tired of all these bluffing podcasts calling this. He's got to show me smoke for me and only me. I'm right there. This man out here trying to thug while he had a bar mitzvah as a Jew. If you have a bar mitzvah, you cannot be a thug straight up. <laughs> I thought Drake started from the bottom. That's the whole meme that he didn't actually like his bottom. His bottom is like upper middle class fancy. You know what I mean? My top five is Drake, 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 Drake. <laughs> God, DJ Academics is such a meme. What? Drake shows his crib before blowing up on Degrassi. I can go for a ride. This is my baby, I guess. Bro, all you need to do is one. There's so much stuff here. There's so much stuff here. But well, all you need to do is ask the question, high school picks, you was even bad then. What does that mean, Drake? What do you mean about high school picks, you was even bad then? What do you mean? Why was that a bar? What are you saying there? That's all you need to ask this 40-year-old man. What did you mean by this? And then you can do the... Audrey Graham, like uh, all the all the Degrassi shit. Yes, um, it's a 2004 Acura CSX. Oh man, <laughs> good thing he didn't change. You know, I think a I think a Beamer is pretentious. Bro has a like a private Boeing 747. Go inside. Now we're gonna check out MySpace. This is why I said personally, like making fun of Abel who, as far as I understand, had, like, a very rough uh, upbringing, despite the fact that they are both from Canada, is crazy to me when everybody knows this was your background. Like, everybody knows this was your background, bro. What the f are you doing? This is why the whole, like, blackface shit popped off when, when Push T did it. Uh, it's just, like, this is the reason. This was, like, alluded to without like actually uh, fully going into it because like everybody kind of knows it. And I think that there was like a way larger, uh, obviously like the way larger stuff was that he was hiding a child, but there's so much. I, I made this table. Got Barry White, Frank Sinatra, Notorious B.I.G., everybody. Bro, Frank Sinatra? Bro, oh, that's Austin Show, dude. Austin Show finds Frank Sinatra inspirational. That's crazy. He's like Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons. Uh, Rick Ross had the smoke for him, by the way. Day, me waking up from a nap, I just realized BBL Drizzy called his mommy on me. Uh, he shared their text messages between each other. Uh, Cupcake Drake, tell your mama you stayed out past your curfew, white boy. You wanted to hang at the park with the smoke weed with the while we washed our old school chevys so
So Rick Ross responded, and we we'll listen to it. Fish tank. Except once again, I repeat myself a little bit here, but like it's not like Rick Ross himself doesn't have a lot of openings either. You know what I mean? Like Rick Ross himself is not, but he was a corrections officer. Okay. Uh, we'll watch the video after the, the disc. We'll, we'll watch the disc. He just came out of nowhere and immediately, immediately came out with a diss track. Let's see. Thanks to marble floors, living big and bad. Just laugh until they hit with my official jab. Okay, now I do agree that this is like, I, I will admit that this is unk beef now. Like this actually is, is turning into real unk beef. I mean, it's good. But but now now I think Gen Alpha even the Zoomers are right. This is this is Uncle Dis. It's Uncle Dis time. Man who doesn't listen to music gives opinion. Why is this like? I mean yeah, I'm talking shit, dude. It's just music. Suck my dick. Why are you so bent out of shape? You know what I mean? Guess what? I'm closer in age to them than you. I've listened to their music more than you have throughout my lifetime at least because I just have more years. Okay, so shut the up. Why you gotta get so mad? directly if we keep in the gangster when you see me you check me. that was push-ups and multiple artists who were against them including rick ross leak ross claims that either drake or someone on his camp leaked the record on behalf as he was too scared to speak directly getting bullied don't walk up on me because the clip is fully you don't want to push <laughs> Full clip, we refer to Drake taking shots of several artists on push-ups. Ross feels it was uncalled for to bring up his name like he wouldn't respond. Apparently, push-ups leaked via Drake's camp, so it wasn't a thought-out strategy. Fans even speculated about the track being AI-generated for the unexpected release and his lyrical content. However, the song was recorded, and that alone is for Ross to think it was a reckless mistake by Drake. I'm like, really, Woody? Like his moves, but he never had a fight in school. Ooh, Pulitzer Prize winner switching like, uh, like die denim. Likely a reference to Kendrick releasing the future feature after being taunted for years by Drake. Ross could also be suggesting that Drake is winning the awards, Pulitzer Prize for his writing skills. Meanwhile, his ghostwriters are writing rentals because they aren't being paid uh, when they are making the hits, doing the killings. Die denim shows the original color beneath. Ross would be implying that Drake is fake and see through. The whole, the whole song is about how Drake is like, uh, uh, is is a culture vulture and grew up very white and and wants to portray himself as hard while also simultaneously alluding to the fact that Drake may or may not have ghostwriters, <laughs> which is a big, um, that's like a big meta. Uh, this is real Uncle uh, rap, I guess officially. He sunned him. Dude. Oh, that's cute. He's such a cutie pie. Rick Ross sampled the clip of Drake speaking at his is all a blur tour. Oh no. Oh my god. I don't follow you because you said the mother cease and desist the French Montana. Wait, what? Rick Ross here takes a shot at Drake being insecure as prominent black Afro-American features. Uh, to the point at which Drake took matters with his own hands to get it surgically innovated using the term father nose to get the point across. Wait, what? If you look closely, you can see that Drake's nose was a bit more plumb and stubby in 2011 than it is now. Wait, is that real? Which gives Rick Ross artillery for the rest of the verse. No, I think they're just making that up, right? I didn't. I don't think that's real. Look at it. Dude, what the f You can look at pictures is real? I mean, can you just be different angles? Like, that's a reach. He got a fake six pack from Dr. Miami, though. Bro, it's so funny. Uh, Drake really is Illuminati the way that, the way that like, uh, the way that shade room comments think that he has like, like I've never heard, I've never heard so many people like speculating on whether or not he's gotten plastic surgery, whether it be a BBL as a joke, right? Or even like dick surgery. People after the dick meat leaked were unironically being like, maybe he got dick surgery. Why is it that like, why is it that everybody, Drake, everybody's like, oh no, Drake has gotten plastic surgery for everything. Drake responds, dude, Philip Lewis is posting about this. That's awesome. Deputy editor of Huffington Post is posting about this beef. Drake responds to Rick Ross's claim that he got a nose job in his diss. I would have got us a two for one deal if I went ma. Mom, Obs, the internet is saying you got a nose job. You look the same to me in the kitchen today. I can't believe you would get one without me because you know, I always wanted one. Don't. Tell me that you got tattoos without me and now this too. Wait, what? This is so f corny. Why is he like this? Bro, Drake is so... God damn, dude. It, he is so... What a... F what a cornball, dude. What a f cornball. It's coming from the Rick Ross, the guy I did songs with. 
He's gone loopy off the Monjaro. He hasn't eaten in days. Oh, he's he's saying he's an Ozempic Wagovi. Is that what it is? Monjaro is uh, is that like a is that like a different? Is he saying you're on Ozempic or some shit? I don't know. I don't know what Monjaro is. I guess. Um, he hasn't eaten in days. It has turned him angry and racist. He's performing at proms where money is bad. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Don't worry, mommy, we'll handle it. Mommy dearest. Dude, I, how, dude? How do you put out like a pretty solid dish track and then f turn around and be like, mommy dearest, this big bad guy is racist. How? Why are you doing cornball ass fake text messages? What's wrong with you? I just don't understand it. Notice how nobody in this BV wants to touch Playboy Cardi? Bro, what kind of f this is Playboy Cardi gonna do? He's gonna be like, brr, brr. Playboy Cardi's also gonna do f Morse code as this is back. Is that what you shut the f up, Slatty Matty? Playboy Cardi too busy doing f Camillo Cabello or whatever f features, okay? Making noises I've never done heard of before in my goddamn life. <laughs> whatever her name is. What is it? Cabello? Camilla Cabello? What is is her name am i saying it wrong shut up who cares yeah all right let's continue with this rick ross did oh i unfollowed you because you sent mother this, this is the french montana he may also be referring to splash brothers another league track montana and drake initially got scheduled for montana's album the song was then released and got mac and five uh mac cheese five with rick ross a little way you had that surgery that six pack going that's why you wearing that funny shit Wait, what? Ross also calls out Drake for wearing questionable clothing on his tour, probably because of the surgery he mentions. Yeah, you got that surgery, that six pack gone. That's why you're wearing the funny shit at your show. You can't hide it. That your show, you can't hide it, nigga. White boy. You got that six pack removed? Wait, I don't get it. Drake shared a shirtless photo on his Instagram story, sparking speculation among fans that he's had cosmetic work done. Rumors have been circulating since about since 2019. This image shows Drake with nothing more than a towel wrapped around his waist. I don't get it. Ross also calls out Dre for wearing questionable clothing on his tour. So do, do people literally think that he got like a, he, he got like a, like a six pack surgery, bro. There is no way. Even Meg said he did. Is that even a thing that you can do? What is wrong with him? I have never seen a rapper consult his mother in a rap beef. This is why Cole won no part of this law. What is this white boy? This is the real Drake with his white and Jewish friends before he hung out with the black kids at school in Toronto. Then he came to the U.S. and changed his whole persona and became a street guy rapper. Listen to what he has to say about Caribbean kids slang man's in like Toronto. You. He's saying like, what are you guys doing? I say man's like you. It's a really weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Waste your... Oh! Fam! Oh! Rick Ross responds to Drake's mom. Yeah, this is where the Rick Ross... Uh, it's so funny. I love this beef, dude. It's great. That's why I said Drake getting involved in this is phenomenal because it's just like there. He is such a target rich environment. You know what I mean? Crew. It's, it's not. It's really ignorant. Oh, he said it's not. It's really ignorant. Oh, my God. That is very Caucasian behavior, to be fair, uh, saying that that is crazy. Uh, also not surprising. Finish the Drake song. I did. What do you mean? We listened to it. It is pretty funny that the guy who packed him up like this and kept calling him white is also a uh, corrections officer famously who basically LARPed, uh, or, or ripped Rick Ross, uh, like an actual famous criminal Rick Ross's persona. So that's also a, uh, Something to, re to remember here. Here it is. The, co uh, the cop wearing a belt around his belly button is wild. <laughs> Tucked into. That is definitely uh, that is definitely a choice. Rick Ross recently said his favorite political figure is Ronald Reagan. Yeah, I mean, that's not really. Drake leagues if no World War III. I've never been more glad that we're talking about rapper beef. Yes. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me do the Rick Ross, uh, uh, Rick Ross, the boss, Teflon. Oh, it's such a beautiful yes. day. Me waking up from a nap, I just realized BBL Drizzy called his mommy on. Rick Ross should have locked up Drake for this. Drake is a 17-year-old fan on Unearthed Video Clip. First of all, Rick Ross literally has a, a, entire bars about dating. What are you talking about? Rick Ross is also the last guy to talk about Drake being women, Drake being weird with women. He literally talks about, like, drugging and, and getting women really up i put molly in her champagne she ain't even know it hello what do you think that's about that's literally about date that's a whole song about date put molly all in her champagne she ain't even know 
I took her home and I enjoyed that. It's like, she didn't even know that. Like, she enjoyed it. She didn't even know it. What? The I don't know. Music proceeds to bring up old Rick Ross bars. It's from a time when I used to listen to music. Okay. Yeah. You almost forgot about that. Don't worry. I did not. So, like, all of these dudes have, except for Kendrick Lamar, for the most part, all of these dudes have, like, a lot of shit that they could get. Uh, pulled into a uh, they could they could get pulled into rat beef and would get farmed and get, would get flamed. Um, but yeah, let's finish what uh, what the Teflon Don, Mr. Corrections Officer, had to say. Uh, he shared their text messages between each other. Uh, Cupcake Drake, tell your mama you stayed out past your curfew, white boy. You wanted to hang at the park with the smoke weed with the. While we washed our old school Chevys. White boy, you got a Chevy, white boy? I doubt it. But anyway, big nose. Big nose. Boy, you had 25% body fat with a carved out six-piece stop. Oh, my God. Why is he getting so ruthless? 25%? Bro, you are fat. That's, dude, this is the only, this is the type of this only a fat man can say, okay? You know. Rick Ross is like 90% body fat, first of all, which makes it really funny. That's why he knows his shit. He's like, he's like talking about BMI, 25% body fat with iced out six pack. That's crazy. That's real fat on fat violence right there. We know what time it is. That shit costs 40 bands. Stop. But tell your mama. Well, in Miami, we say, old oh, girl, tell your old girl she a beautiful lady. I told you that before and I meant that. But you tell your mama, white boy, you stayed out at the park too late. And you can't call her when you get in this. Deep to call your mama, white boy. Bro, Rick Ross lost enough weight for like two fat men. And he's still fat, by the way. So he knows. Like a balding dude calling out the Norwood scale. True. Yeah, see? <laughs> when I used to be 280 pounds, I used to roast my friend who was around 250 for being fat Lamont. Yeah. You say Kendrick has no skeletons on his closet. Think again. Whoever told Kendrick to do that GQ shoot in 2013 needs to be arrested. Okay, first of all, this isn't Kendrick Lamar. This is Bruno Mars. So you guys are racist. I refuse to recognize this. Okay, that's just Bruno Mars. Uh, that's, oh wow. A lot of racists out here thinking that that's Kendrick Lamar. That's not. Okay. And also, secondly, even if it is, being cringe is not a crime. Last time I checked. So, you guys, okay? Yeah, that's right. Everybody in 2013 dressed like this. <laughs> Here's Drake's GQ cover. Drake is dapper for GQ style Bible. Yeah, that's worse. Rick Ross calling Ovio the pastrami. The luxuries posse. of life. I might write a song that they call Who Knows? Who Knows? One thing about, um, I'm going to say this with them bbls you i'm speaking specifically to you with bbls if you got a fake body you got a fake mind yeah he's like i'm true to myself you know what i mean i love bro rick ross is on some lizzo shit okay he's like listen i love my curves okay it's called body positivity like do you understand He's like, yeah, that's right. We're, we moved on. We moved on against fat shaming. We are now doing body neutrality. Okay. We moved away from fat positivity to body neutrality. We love a confident queen like Ricky Ross, Ricky Rose. It's so funny. He's just like, he's just shitting on Drake for not being true to himself. Lead that shit to them cute. Walking around in YSL heels. Watch the Rick Ross stole his old identity video by Trap Lord Ross. I don't need to watch a Trap Lord Ross video to tell you that. I knew that already. I talked about it already. Not you, the OVO. The push. They went at him for a Zempic like go off king. That's what I mean. The big three photographed by GQ. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, J Cole's one is the worst. Oh God. How does he take an L here, even in this circumstance, bro? <laughs> oh, there, buddy. No need to get aggressive. <laughs> Slow down, man. You're starting to bite off more than you can chew. <laughs> well, there, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Host said she likes Steve Lacey. Oh, okay. Anyway.
This is uh, this was the style at the time. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, you say that because you had a hat phase like Kendrick had a Navi. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Let's not. This is. I am not the one on the pedestal here. I am not the one under attack here. Let's not talk about how I used to dress back in those days. Let's not do that. Everyone suck my. Okay. That's also I defended Kendrick Lamar there. Okay. I defended him. You wore Ed Hardy? No, I never wore Ed Hardy. I always hated Ed Hardy, but I definitely did have a had a knobby phase for sure. I don't understand how Drake could be like an artist, have so much spare time, be one of the richest artists out there who could just like hire a private chef and a personal trainer to be with him 24 7. And he still hasn't been able to figure out this like weightlifting shit. It blows my mind. A $40,000 ab surgery is idiotic in comparison to just like literally having like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, why don't you just, why don't you just train? I don't understand it.